welcome and good to have you with us as we talk Cowboy baseball, getting ready for a series against the Texas Longhorns and Stillwater. And so let's just start here. You know, we are working our way into conference play, obviously. What are you sort of most excited to learn more about as far as this team's concerned? Now we're three weeks into it, conference play-wise. Well, um, it kind of sneaks up on you. You know, this year in particular where we opened in uh, – the true first week of conference play. Some years we've had that extra week to get ready with the bye week. Uh, this this year we opened at Lubbock. So we kind of jumped right into it. And then uh, coming home uh, for week two with Baylor was good to get back on our ballpark. And now here you are in week, week three against Texas, who's a very good team. So I, I think conference play, it just takes on a different level uh, of detail over the three-game series. I think when you have to uh, compete with the same group, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, knowing each game draws a certain amount of uh, competitive uh, emotion, competitive execution, all the things that each game bring. Uh, you have to have really good endurance over those three days to play well. And I, I'm looking forward to watching us uh, get stronger and stronger and taking on the close one-run games and taking on the, the emotional swings that the weekend has to offer and uh, becoming a more consistent, uh, as I tell the guys, uh, chasing an excellent vision of our team versus letting the opponent dictate how things go. Uh, I want to keep watching the guys, keep pushing for that. So, obviously, a lot of people talking about the Texas series regionally and nationally, a lot of attention on this series, but what's the balance? Obviously, you're chasing a Big 12 title, but at the same time, you're trying to work your way toward regional berth, trying to advance onto the College World Series. So what's the balance between an important series this weekend, but also focusing on what is a pretty long-term situation here that goes all the way into June? Well, I, it, it keeps itself pretty simple, and that's just play good Friday, then wake up and play good Saturday. You know, I think the biggest thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, you play these things one by one, uh, and really, you know, in preparation for the weekend, how well you prepare on Thursday is such a big deal to just know you're going into the weekend in the right space in terms of uh, where you need to be when we get on offense and defense. Uh, make sure you're in the right headspace in terms of your outlook as a player. Because really what you have to do is, is play each pitch by itself and then play one inning at a time and then do that over the course of three days. If you do that, you have your best chance to play great. And if you play great, then all those things that you mentioned uh, seem to fall in place over the course of time, right? Um, you know, the guys are pretty good about not worrying – and placing too much emphasis on any one game or one series, which I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad they have a, uh, a pretty simple focus. I like that about the age that they're at. Sometimes as an adult, you can take a bigger, broader view of what's going on and, and maybe view a series or view a stretch as pretty critical based on your experience. But uh, I like the fact that the players, for the most part, uh, kind of operate day to day. That's, a, that's one of the gifts they have of being young uh, and one of the – the uh, obvious responsibilities I have of being older is the big picture. So keep the kids in the moment, play them one at a time. If we do that, the big picture should take care of itself. You've had a very good lineup and a very good left-hand hitting lineup, and now we're getting into, obviously, conference play where you'll see some really good left-handers. You'll see mm -hmm. one this weekend from Texas. So what's the balance between maybe a little bit of anxiety about that but maybe also some excitement to see, hey, let's see how we hold up against someone who's really good from the left side? Well, it's been, you know, an interesting uh, 25, 26 game, you know, chunk of baseball to evaluate to this point because we have probably seen, I'd say, of those games, at least 20 of them have been against right-handed starting pitching. Uh, so we haven't seen quite as many left-handed pitchers to uh, continue to kind of groove the right-handed hitting component of our offense. Uh, and then some lefties, Dave, are interesting because even though they're left-handed, um, they actually prefer to throw to right-handed batters because sure. the, the primary pitch is a changeup, fading low and outside from the right-handed batter. So the, the left-handed strong lineup that uh, we feature on a lot of days can be effective against left-handed pitching, uh, especially left-hand pitchers who prefer their changeup because the ball still comes back towards you uh, versus, say, a left-hand pitcher who's dominant with the slider or the curveball that goes away from you. So uh, yeah, we're going to see a good one on Lucas Gordon. They have three or four other good uh, left-handed relief pitchers. So uh, as I told somebody, every every time we've ever suited up to play the University of Texas, they've had good players. 
They've had competitive teams. They're well coached. So it'll be another great series. They'll challenge us with good pitchers and good players. And it should be a lot of great baseball. I hope our fans will come out each day and enjoy it. Yeah, we're expecting huge crowds for the weekend series. You know, Ian Doherty goes down with an injury, you know, involved in your catching situation. So Chase Atkinson has been the everyday catcher. How has he benefited from playing every day, and how has he grown from last year overall as a player? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question because the, the catching position is a demanding one, both physically and mentally, and um, Chase has, has taken on the, you know, the responsibility of being our, our primary everyday catcher, and uh, he's done a great job. He's uh, probably found his best offensive rhythm since he's been here uh, during this 20-game stretch, if you will. And uh, he's been consistent. He's caught very, very well. Um, he's handled a pitching staff that is still learning about itself. So he's taken on that major piece of responsibility that's also uh, very important to our team. So I think he's done a great job. Um, I think he is a better version of himself. He's certainly using the whole field now uh, on offense. He's hitting some balls with authority. The doubles and homers are starting to show up. And uh, he's just a very steady, consistent presence on our team. And uh, he's been a uh, a strength of, of who we are as a team to this point in the year. How do you feel about your depth? And I bring it up. You lost two third basemen in a weekend uh, last weekend. So David Mendon moves to third from first, and you've had to make some changes in the outfield with Zach Earhart out. I mean, you've you've had some guys in and out of the lineup. How, how do you feel about your depth? Because it's it's been tested, especially at the third base position. Yeah, I'm very thankful that you know we have the roster that we do because uh, there's been some years where some of the, the injuries that have happened could really – uh, dismantle or break apart what uh, you built or what you had a vision for building when the team was put together. The kids have moved around and filled in for one another and picked each other up awfully well. Uh, I think our depth is definitely one of the strengths of this team. You know, as a head coach going into the year, you're always wanting to try to, to keep all the players involved and, and uh, find good positive ways that guys can contribute to the team's uh, success and roles and, and playing time. And it's difficult to ever be able to meet that for everyone. Uh, injuries this year have, have, have opened the door for more and more guys to uh, put their fingerprints on this team in a positive way, and, and we're seeing that. So uh, we'd love to get those guys back. They're valuable members of our team. But while guys have been down, others have stepped up. And we'll just have to keep being creative uh, and putting guys in some space that uh, maybe they haven't seen a lot of time at in hopes that those guys that have been hurt can get back to us and, and kind of give us maybe – you know, our true nucleus of talent to, to manage and put guys in the right spots. As a final thought, we mentioned the fact that we expect big crowds for the Texas series. I don't, I, does it, has it ever, I, I guess you probably never take for granted the fact that a weekend conference series at O'Brate is just really cool. I mean, there is a buzz. I don't know if, how much you get a chance to absorb it. You're busy managing your team, but it's really something special, and, and it's, it's been really neat to watch that evolve. Yeah, I probably don't get to maybe uh, appreciate it from that perspective just because, as you said, we're so uh, kind of involved in getting ready to play. But it's great to hear that, and it's great to, to come out and see great crowds. It's very rewarding for our players to play in their home ballpark in front of their fans, especially when they're four or 5,000 deep. Um, it's, it's something that we for so long uh, wanted to have as part of who we were uh, at Oklahoma State Baseball at home. Uh, we've worked hard to get to this point. Now we just got to keep building on that tradition, uh, keep appreciating that beautiful baseball stadium, keep celebrating it by playing well inside of it, and, and also by uh, getting great crowds and people coming to rally and support the athletes that represent Oklahoma State so well. And, uh, you know, someone pointed out to me uh, yesterday, this is probably the last time University of Texas will ever travel to Stillwater to play baseball. And that hadn't really occurred to me either. And uh, so, yeah, there's just some things about, you know, uh, weekends – they're a lot of fun. Home weekends in the conference are, are great. Uh, playing against opponents that you have history and tradition with, uh, all that going together should be a great weekend out at O'Brate Stadium. So if you've not been to the new ballpark yet, O'Brate Stadium, this weekend would be a good weekend to do it. Hope to see you there. <laughs>